It wasn't enough for the boards to have solid foundations. They must be linked to one another. Quote, you shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side, and five bars for the far side westward. The middle bar shall pass through the midst of the boards from one end to the other. You shall overlay the boards with gold, make their rings of gold as holders for the bars, and overlay the bars with gold. Exodus 26, verses 26 to 29. So a series of gold rings near the top and bottom and across the middle of each board provided the links with five acacia wood bars covered in gold slipped through them. This fortified each of the three sides. Three rows of rings, but five bars. Yes, the middle bar extended all the way across each wall. The tops and bottoms were divided in two. If this system for unifying the boards that were, quote, standing upright, verse 15, is a picture of the believers and, quote, the true grace of God in which you stand, 1 Peter 5, 12, is it possible that the three rows speak of the three persons who hold us fast? Here are three ringing facts to help us stand in this hostile desert world. One, quote, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God, Colossians 4.12. Two, stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, Galatians 5.1. And number three, stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, Philippians 1.27. Romans 8 links this threefold support, quote, the spirit also helps in our weaknesses and makes intercession for us, verse 26. Then, if God is for us, who can be against us, verse 31. And, quote, it is Christ who died and furthermore is also risen, who also makes intercession for us. Verse 34, every believer stands, quote, for God is able to make him stand. Romans 14, verse 4. What might these five bars picture in their unifying influence for God's people? C.W. Slemming in his book, made according to the pattern, pages 54 and 55, suggests they represent the five ministries that the risen Christ gave his church, found in Ephesians 4.11, quote, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Slemming writes, quote, the first two ministries are represented by the lower bars, Quote, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Ephesians 2.20. The center bar, reaching from end to end, would remind us of the center ministry stated, that of the evangelist. What an extensive work is his. How far reaching. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, Mark 16.15. The evangelist, having done his part, then come the labors of the pastor and teacher. He adds, quote, to say that these bars thus speak of church ministry is no speculation. For if we read on in Ephesians 4, we shall find that both the bars and the gifts were given for a similar purpose. Quote, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith, that we should no longer be carried about with every wind of doctrine, but may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love, 
verses 12 to 16. What an apt illustration the Lord gives us of the unity of his people secured by the triune God. May the Lord help us to be resolute in our faithfulness, standing up for him and not moved by the swirling winds of change.